Ah, uh, Wyoming. The Cowboy State. If you saw my last video about Wyoming, maybe you're thinking, hey, I thought you said not to move to Wyoming. No, I never said that. My videos are designed to point out things you should know before you move to a place. One place may be perfect for you and suck for someone else. I mean, most people hate the cold weather. I prefer it. Everyone is different. Wyoming may not be for you, and that's fine. But if you're thinking about getting a posse together and heading up to Wyoming, you should probably watch my top 10 reasons to move to Wyoming. Number 10, zero traffic. If you want to be alone so you can make some use of that Amazon Audible account, try driving across the state or even town to town in Wyoming. You won't see many people. No tailgaters, no lane switchers, no people cutting into your lane. For miles and miles, you could be the only one on the road. Plenty of time to hear what books you've had zero time to read. Zero traffic in Wyoming, it's amazing. Number nine, a low cost of living. Wyoming has one of the lowest costs of living and housing in the country. If you're retired or living on a fixed income, I found your new home. Your money goes so much further in Wyoming. Like I said, not just on housing, on everything, shopping, everything. Now, I did hear some people complain about insurance rates are a little high there, but still, if everything else is cheaper, have at it. Number eight, the best scenery. A lot of people claim their state has the best scenery. Really, it's just a matter of opinion. But if you consider nature and an unspoiled land the ideal scenery, head to Wyoming. But be prepared. The Cowboy State has more than enough things for you to view, video, photograph, paint, or just walk around in. To some people, it's a little overwhelming in the beginning. But you'll get used to it. Number 7. Winter Sports Ski, snowboard, snowshoe, snowmobile, build a frickin' snowman. Whatever you want to do in the snow, you're going to be able to do it in Wyoming. Now, I've been a couple times. Grand Tarhee, Snow Giant, Jackson Hole. Those are the ones that I've been to, and I really can't think of anything negative to say about these places. They're phenomenal. Great skiing, snowboarding in my case. Just a great all-around trip, each time. Number six, guns. Wyoming is an open carry state, and you can also carry a concealed firearm without a permit, provided you are eligible to qualify for a permit. My first thought was, why get the permit if that's a thing? I don't know. If you like guns, you're welcome in Wyoming. Some people don't like having guns around because they say they're dangerous, or whatever your argument may be. If you want to live in this state, you might want to keep those views to yourself. Considering the crime rate is about half the national average, I think it might be working. Number five, the best air quality. You have to be walking behind a truck with a damaged exhaust system to experience poor air quality in this state. Wyoming has some of the best air quality in the nation. I think the only one that beats them is Maine. Bovine flatulence is the only real thing you have to worry about as far as air quality goes in Wyoming. Number four, neighbors. Neighbors in Wyoming are what neighbors are supposed to be. If you need help with something, they'll be there. Now, if you're sitting there thinking Wyoming neighbors suck, no, they don't. It's you. You're the dick neighbor nobody likes talking to. Even in Wyoming, where people treat each other the right way, there is always one of you on every street. Number three, outdoors. In case you didn't pick up on this already, Wyoming is all about the great outdoors. Hunting, fishing, camping, walking pantless across a field to your truck because your shorts floated away when they came off as you dove into the river. These are all things you could do in Wyoming. Okay, maybe the last one is just me, but you can do it. And nobody but the two girls that you went swimming with are going to see it because nobody's ever around. And that's a good thing. Because it's bad enough when you have two girls that you've been traveling with or following you across a field making jokes about how cold the water must be. Number two, a great economy. The main industries in Wyoming's economy are mining, farming, and tourism. And they're all going strong. The unemployment rate is down, I, way down actually. With a low cost of living and jobs, this is all a definite plus for living in Wyoming. Now, I've read the wages are a little bit low compared to other places, but your cost of living and housing is so low. I mean, still, it's, it's really good. And no traffic for the work commute? Sign me up. And number one, almost zero crime. 
Wyoming has one of the lowest crime rates in the country, and that's a great thing. Sure, most of those 911 calls involve livestock or pantless dudes running across fields. God, I, I hope they've never had both those on one call. That would just be weird. Anyway, in my personal opinion, I think the low crime rate is a direct result of the respect people have for each other in this great state. And the fact that you have about an 80% chance that someone has a firearm on them at any time. People don't do stupid stuff to each other when there's a fear of springing a hole in your body for carjacking someone. However they got there, they have such a low crime rate, it's one of the best things about Wyoming. It makes it a great place to live. All right, so that's a top 10 reasons to move to Wyoming. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And always, check the links out down below. If you order anything on Amazon, use one of the links down below. If you uh, want to support the channel, buy a t-shirt or my Patreon account. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other. Smoke the screen to make your world